My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for joining us today on this Power Up webinar on an overview of editing 3D video inside Final Cut Pro. I am delighted to have you with us, so let's get ourselves started. As I was putting this session together, uh, several thoughts occurred to me on 3D. First, and probably the most important, is you can get into 3D on Final Cut Pro for $99 plus another $1.12 for the glasses. And this includes the ability to post 3D movies to YouTube. Now there's two schools of thought here. One is 3D is never going to take off, it's dead in the water. But the other thought is, even if it is long-term dead in the water, I think we can make money on it today. And in this economy, finding ways to make money and to do it inexpensively from our point of view could actually be a worthwhile endeavor. So we're going to talk about 3D and how we can use it to start experimenting with stereo 3D video today and pitch it to our clients tomorrow. We're all familiar with feature films that have 3D in them with digital projection, but Discovery is starting a 3D cable channel. ESPN is also starting a 3D cable channel. DirecTV is starting a 3D satellite channel, and Sony, IMAX, and Comcast are teaming together to create another 3D channel. And YouTube currently displays 3D video. I was reading a survey in the LA Times yesterday that 52% of the people that have experimented with 3D video like it. Their biggest complaint is that there isn't enough material in 3D. Which means that we now have a reason to go back to clients and say, listen, why don't we do this? Let's just experiment. Let's put together a 30 second piece of video and post it to YouTube. Do it in 3D. You can then do a press release that talks about the fact that you're cutting edge. Let's do it in 3D. 30 seconds is not going to cost a lot of money and we can put it together for them and charge them for the privilege. Well, they're going to jump on it like white on rice. The whole idea is to be able to get their name out into the public. You get a new gig working with 3D. The client pays you money. Everybody wins because you don't have to spend the money to do a broadcast show or put together a feature film. With YouTube displaying 3D video and an inexpensive way for us to get 3D on our computer, money-making opportunities suddenly start to open up. And that's where I want to focus today, is to give you the information you need to be able to successfully start experimenting with 3D. Another thought, James Cameron said that 3D will replace 2D as the standard format for film and television in less than 25 years. And I thought about it, so I did some research. And do you realize that 25 years is faster than color took to replace black and white in films and television? Think of it this way. We consider it normal today to adjust and pull focus as part of a shot. Perhaps tomorrow it may also be normal to adjust and pull convergence for a shot. Imagine when, when sound first came to film, it was totally disruptive and everybody said it's never going to take off. Or when color came to film, people would say, why are we doing color when black and white tells the story? They are simply different tools that we use to be able to convey our stories visually. The goals for this seminar is I want to explain what stereo 3D is. I want to define key 3D terms, including how to display 3D video on a monitor. I'll suggest 3D production techniques to keep in mind as you're doing your own 3D production and present the gear that you need to do 3D in post. I'll highlight key software needed for 3D inside Final Cut Pro and we'll then turn on the software and I'll show you how to manipulate 3D in Final Cut. So there is a software component but there's a lot of information we need to cover first and we're going to start by defining stereo 3D. 